Gentlemen, 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 what is up? How are you doing? Man, I, I am so excited right now. What a great podcast we're going to have. Hey, uh, I'm, I'm going to tickle your phones right now. I just sent you guys the link, bam, to on YouTube. Just dropped at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my first ever video game reaction video. It was very, it was about 30 minutes because I got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the reason why I'm bringing that up is because again, that's only the first, my first actual take on trying to do it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, the audio video I had to sit down and goof around with. Um, if you want to know how I nerded out on that, I'll, I'll tell you here shortly. But I'm excited. Do you guys have that? Speaking of which, TJ, you said you were uh, linking up your stream today and you were trying to do the same thing. So. What's up? Tell me about your adventure if you want. Yeah, I, uh, well, I just, I, I did a playthrough of uh, a couple of games of uh, uh, Rocket League for like three games and just recorded the video of that and the audio, obviously, from the game. And then I went back in afterwards and did a audio commentary over it. Oh, okay. So you commentaried on it the whole time. That's good. Yeah, so, yeah. so you did the file and then you talked on the file. Yeah, so what I did is I, I brought it up in video editor and then added the audio yeah, file oh, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I saved the audio sense. and audio. Watched the file. I, you know, the only problem was is that I got to find a easier way to wait to sync the audio and the video up correctly. <laughs> now, I gotta figure out a, a, a like a snap or something to do at the beginning so I know when to start the audio file. Okay, do like a, a click track. Yeah, yeah. So, um. Now, I won't get into in Invested, but I will tell you and, and Jerry here, what I did is I took my audio into, or my video and audio headset and what all that stuff into my Xbox. And then the Xbox, I, I ran uh, Twitch on it. Mm -hmm. And then on my OBS, I took Twitch and I used the window capture and copied the uh, window capture of that. Mm hmm um, but so I, because when I was like, oh, I can talk, but the latency is so far off that it going from Twitch to here, like to OBS or whatever, mm -hmm. there's like quite a delay. So what I did was I just put my audio through my Xbox, out my TV into the board and recorded just everything and the uh, audio and everything all at one time. Gotcha. Gotcha. But yeah, so Jerry, my friend, uh, Subnautica. Let's recap what I've told you, and then you can tell me what your opinion is from there. <laughs> so, I started. You're brave, man. That's all. I'm watching a little bit of it right now. You're brave, but go ahead. Oh man. So I'm I'm going through. I get out. I start clicking on everything, and then all right, I'm like, all right, well. So I start swimming around, looking at Subnautica on the Xbox. I'm swimming around. I'm looking, find some mushrooms or something. And then uh, I end up getting to the submarine and uh, on the other, or the rocket rather. And uh, every, it's radiation. I can't do nothing. So I die. I come back. I think I come back and I do uh, same kind of the same scenario. And if I remember correctly, I tried to put out the fire over at the submarine. The rocket. The rocket. Yeah. I tried to put out the fire there on that little mound. Uh, no luck. And then uh, I swam back the third time I was going over there. I was like, ah, after dying a few times, I just swam back. And I'm like, okay, well, I can't do this right now. So that's when I uh, I text my friend Jerry. And I said, okay, bud, here's as far as I got. I did try it, and I will try it again. So with that being said, you you get to see it now. Is that not funny, though? <laughs> you're like, you're like watching, you're like, <sighs> Yeah, it's when you first play, you don't know what the hell to do, man. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when you told me what was going on, I'm like, I'm trying to think the best way to, like, what to tell you to nudge you in the right direction, but, mm -hmm. like, not give any of it away. Like, I don't want to. No spoiler, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. And to me, like, the this game isn't a game that you'd want to spoil for anybody, man, just because it's, I mean, I'm sure you felt it like you haven't played anything like that before or you're just like like shit what the hell do i do yeah it was and, crazy and, and on top of it you're in a, in a completely unfamiliar environment 
you know, you, you, you go, you, you're on that freaking light pod. You don't know what the hell's underneath you. Like for me, it took me a couple minutes just to even go into the water. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because, dude, it's it's intense. You have zero idea of what's coming for you, what's next. Zero yeah. percent. Yeah, so <laughs> that's that's what got me is just, the like I said before, the emotional response to it, man. Like, they did such a great job on playing on people's, you know, the, the, the fears that we all have it with, you know, some some varying degrees, but we all, we all have that type of uh, fear of, you know, if I'm out in the middle of the ocean, what the hell's underneath me? Um, but they, you know, compound upon that with, okay, not only am I out in the middle of the ocean, I'm in a world I don't even know. Where, like, where, like that where you I'm have zero percent recognition recognition of. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I don't have a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Or any or anything, if we're yeah. being honest here. <laughs> Yeah, so it, uh, it definitely plays on your fears. It definitely plays on your emotions. Um, but the thing that I appreciate about it is it's not, it, it's not like too much, you know, it's, you know, people say this is the scariest non horror game that they've ever played. And I'd say, yeah, absolutely. Because it's not like, it's not the, Oh my God, what's around, you know, like there's a monster around the corner. It's a different type of fear, man. And the cool thing is with that, like, you're going to continue to have that. Like you're going to, uh, you're going to, you're just going to continue to experience that. That's all I can say about it. That's what's great about it. Well, that's comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Look, dude, the, the stuff that it makes you go through are things that like, like me, I, I'm a swimmer. I grew up a swimmer. I grew up in a pool, dude, but like open water swimming still freaks me to have out, man. I'm better. <laughs> I'm a better swimmer than most people that I know. Um, and it's still like, just, it's, I know rationally, like there's nothing underneath me that's going to kill me in a freaking lake, but it's, it's still like, whoa, what the hell was that? Especially if some, like a fish comes swimming by you, man, like touches your foot. Ah, like, yeah. You don't want nothing coming up behind you and touching your leg and stuff. It's creepy. No, no. So yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm looking forward to, I didn't hear any of the audio, uh, when you sent the link, I was, I was just looking at a little bit of the yeah, video. Because, uh, get a, get a, get a sense of where did you go? Yes. Well, I did, I, I, I did uh, a smart move. I felt, um, I did go ahead and release it on Twitch today and then I put it on YouTube and I waited until we started the podcast. So then that way, not only would you be able to, uh, check it out but you'd be able to talk about it like we've just got to um and uh yeah that game is pretty intense i also did another one sweet you want to know which one it was uh you, League. you can tune in tomorrow at 5 p.m eastern time oh. on the youtube channel and you can see Ooh, the other one mm, i'm just saying it's already uploaded and ready <laughs> to release at 5 p.m tomorrow <laughs> On YouTube right. tomorrow, the 29th of June, 2020. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that was awful. But I did try. Uh, so, TJ, you think you're going to be dropping one, too, here? Uh, you said pretty soon, probably today or tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably be either today or tomorrow, one of the two. Um, uh, that will be fun. Like I said, I'm still learning, so it's trial and error. <laughs> Getting um, the audio correct. I'm sure you guys can hear my microphone better today than the last time we uh, tried to do this. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sounded great. To uh, our uh, to our friends and followers, the Middle Age Gaming Podcast was recorded, in fact, but I had many things go wrong for me, so I actually have to piece together some of the audio to make sense of it all, <laughs> um, where my microphone was not jacked. But it is going to be released soon. I promise. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Friday night, we, uh, had a good time. We played out live for the first time in three months. Uh, you guys remember top shelf, top shelf. We celebrated his birthday yes, in, sir. uh, his nice. birth, his 21st birthday, as you remember. Um, <laughs> it was a great time. Um, from what I remember, it was a great time. Um, yesterday, Saturday was not a great time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I slept a good portion of the day, which is something I don't normally do. Um, but yeah, so it was good to get out and play again. Um, it, it was definitely very interesting to see the way that people are going about uh, opening up their businesses and how they're taking precautions and stuff. Like we were all outside and everything was like solid lines in and out, like it, uh, like like direction of where to go and where not to go, and like it was really cool. Um, awesome. Yeah, so it was re- really fun to play some music. Other than that, I've just uh, been hanging out today with uh, my family and doing some reaction videos. Uh, <laughs> so I did a reaction video for my friend Jerry here uh, also. Um, he had to tell me the name of it because I could not tell. It had it had so many different names, and I was like, um, I was like, I, I, I just put something up. And he's like, yeah, you uh, put the wrong name, bud. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Wrong art. So, yeah, I took care of that. Uh, so, how, what did you think of the experience of my reaction video? Was it pretty awful? Or was it like, like what do you uh, suggest for me moving forward? Who, me? No. I, did you watch uh, it? I'm, I'm kind of watching it now, like, as we're doing it. I'm watching uh, as we're going. Ah, uh, okay. So, uh, Jerry, what's up? Yeah, uh, I think just just more talking, man. Like, like, what are you what are you experiencing? You know, it was. Uh, I mean, I could tell you're definitely picking it apart in your head. Um, but I should probably put it outward, Maury. That makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Just I would I would probably up your volume on your mic too. Okay. See, on your audio, just so that way you can hear you over the game more. All right, that's a good suggestion. Uh, well, I made that mistake. Like, at the same time, I gave you a pretty, I don't know, it was kind of a tough one, I guess. I didn't know what to, to, to send you about. Dude, you know, it was I, awesome. It was awesome. Oh, it was awesome. I, the first time I heard that track, dude, I mean, you're talking like late 90s, man. And like, that was like, holy cow, like you can make this kind of stuff. I can tell you <laughs> shortly after we recorded that, it was straight to Rocket League. Straight to Rocket League. It's like I gotta get my fill for a little bit. Oh yeah, um, that game. It it was great. The uh, the song. Um, I really man, it kept hitting you right in the chest over and over and over and over. Oh, it's relentless. Um, I do I do like the suggestion of uh, you know talking some more. Um, after going back and listening to it, it was something I was kind of stewing around. I'm like, God, you know, they should probably uh, should probably talk a little bit more. Um, I was trying to do that in the game because I noticed I do get stuck in my head. Um, so my question is next. My next question is uh, to TJ. Yep. Uh, move like again, trying something of that sort. Um, did you enjoy it more going back and commenting on top of it after you played the game? Well, I, that's the reason I did it like that because, like, I try. I did a couple of runs. I played a couple of different games, a couple of different formats. I did a, a PUBG where I was doing it like you were doing it with Subnautica, where I was playing it and trying to record audio for it and kind of commenting on what I was doing on it, you know. But it's hard to, it's kind of hard to en- to enjoy, especially if you're playing like a game for the first time. It's gonna be kind of hard to enjoy it playing it for the first time, hmm. and um trying to be entertaining with it at the same time it for me for me at least so yeah, i no, feel no. like if i'm going to do stuff i'm going to i'm i'm going to lean more towards the commentary um unless i have like you and jerry or some you know or, or, or ty in the, in the chat where i can have an interactive conversation with somebody until i get comfortable with that that one versus the wall conversation you know what i mean like because you're literally just talking to your tv and yourself so until I'm more comfortable with that, you know what I mean? I think I'm going to stick with the, the commentary over the gameplay. I think either method is going to be great. Uh, now, how how do you feel, Jerry, that we should uh, try? Again, you, more talking. Do you feel like the overall experience was okay, though? Do you feel like anything was too loud? Um, I know setting up the board was a little difficult the way I had it ran, um, but... I think talking, it was freaking me out though, too. If I, if I could add one thing, mm-hmm. our little dog, when he was running through the house and all you hear is a little tap, 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 tap of his feet <laughs> in the audio in your head. When you're trying to play a game, you're like, shit, everybody can hear that. Damn dog, go lay down. 
<laughs> can, can I make a suggestion on trying maybe once? Yeah. On one, try doing it with the. I'm I'm liking the Xbox console companion on the laptop and running that through um, uh, Steam Lab, uh, Stream Labs, mm -hmm. and then you're able to record you know, your stream while you're, while you're streaming, you know what I mean? Um, right on the stream labs uh, that way. I don't know if that's a viable way to, to do it or not, but that's the, that's the way I was thinking about doing it. I got you. Um, yeah, well, we'll definitely dive into that. Um, again, Jerry, uh, besides talking some more, do you have any suggestions before we move on to the next subject? The, no, well, the audio I thought was great, but I, I thought you could hear, you could hear the music um, loud enough. You can hear you loud enough. Um, I don't think either one was overpowering over the other. It wasn't, you know, uh, it, it, it sounded right. Um, and just from the videos that I see, um, it's, you know, for instance, with Subnautica, we'll use that as an example. Like jumping into the water, like give the play, you, they give the play by play on what they see. Like, Oh, like, look at, look at that fish. Like, Oh, what's going on with that fish. And then, you know, if they don't know, like, what the hell do I do? They're saying like, okay, like I'm going to try going over here. But I still don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Um, so it's almost like they give a play by play of what, what's actually going on in their head. Um, kind of narrating their, their, the store, their, their own, their own thoughts and ideas. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know who's really good at that? You two. You know who's not yet? <laughs> Me. But you know who's going to be great practice, at it? Practice, practice. All three of us. That's who's going to be yeah. great at it. Uh, um, for sure. We're not going to be great at anything the first time that we try. That's for damn sure. But I'm really glad that you pushed me into doing this. Uh, and I really have appreciated your guys' suggestions. I'm going to be doing them all the time, honestly, because uh, it's something I like, I like to do. And I love getting better at anything I do and everything I try. So thank you very much. Um, I will take those <laughs> suggestions and uh, try some other things. Um, yeah, so, God, it was a beautiful day out today. Uh, I don't even remember. It was probably like 80, 81, 82. Just kind of hung outside. Uh, wrapped all my my cords from the other night and uh, just hung out around the house. We, you know, just a typical day here. It was a good one. <laughs> That's awesome. Good stuff. Um, how's things been going up for uh, for you guys where you're at? I know uh, Erie just went green phase on Friday, uh, so you know people can get their hair cut and parts of them all are able to open back up and different things like that. Yeah, we've got a uh, pretty much most stuff is open. Uh, the the restaurant that I used to work at, the British Beer Company, is um, you know the waitresses are starting to go back now. The bar isn't open on it itself, but the restaurant is, so they still they're seating people, but you can't sit at the bar yet. Um, but yeah, so it's 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 getting there. I mean, I don't know how it's how it's going to uh, go down after tourist season is over but um we'll see i don't know trying to be optimistic about it <laughs> heck yeah man that's all we can do at a time like this um yeah so what about the where you're at there jer yeah so where we moved to phase four of five five isn't until there's a vaccine or there's a certain amount of time where there's no new cases um, so pretty much once, you know, things are handled down. So we're in the second to last phase of opening. Um, so we're transitioning with that. That started Friday. Um, yeah. So, um, the restrictions, I'm trying to look them up right now. Like the only one that, you know, the big one that I was concerned with was, you know, with my job, you know, am I going back to work or not? Right. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. So they, uh, gyms are open. In Illinois, they're at 50, they allow 50% to their capacity, um, which I guess is building capacity. Um, and then in Chicago, it's 25%. In Chicago, always have to have a mask on at all times. Uh, outside of Chicago, uh, people that are, ex everybody has to have a mask, ex unless if you're exercising, you can take your mask off and you exercise. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, I have concern over that just because. Oh, yeah, dude. It's, 
and I, you know, I read other people's concerns, you know, they posted stuff, uh, they printed stuff in the paper and read it online. Um, and people have the same concerns, you know, anybody that's spent a lot of time at a gym, you know, typically people are slobs, man. Um, you know, from what I've seen, they're saying, oh, well, we're going to, it's going to be enforced that they wear, everybody has to wear a mask except at this time. Well, like any time that I've seen where you create a rule in a gym and then you say, well, except at this time, like you've opened the floodgates, dude. So like, for instance, one of the things that people aren't supposed to do is bring, uh, bring bags in, into the, the weight training area, which is basically the upstairs area. There's signs, you know, when you're going upstairs, don't no bags allowed. Nobody ever polices that stuff. Um, you know, I get frustrated because we lose those resistance bands, you know, people steal, them. you know, how do they get them out of the building? Probably the yeah. easiest way is in a, is Gym in a bag. bag that's yeah. not supposed to be there in the first place, yeah. you know, so we, we get customers complaining about that. I would tell management, um, you know, it's either we got to order these faster or you got to start policing, you know, what's going on upstairs and, neither scenario was taken seriously. So like I'm getting bitched at every day about not having bands and, you know, you kind of see what's going on. Um, so that type of scenario is like anytime that there's a rule that you give a little exception to people take advantage of that shit, man, and they're assholes about it. Um, you know, if you do tell somebody that they should have a bag upstairs, oh, well, fuck you, you know, who are you to tell me that type of attitude, mm. um, which, and I get it, dude, like most of the people are exercising. What's typically thought of as a good exercise is when you're, you know, beating and sweat and red faced. And typically if somebody's telling you not to do something when you're in that state, your response is going to be like, ah, fuck you, you know, so, right. you know, I get that too. So. Um, that's the other, that's the other thing, you know, the, when people are in a state where they're not, you know, calm and relaxed, they're going to make decisions that aren't the best decisions. This is why I don't, uh, I'm against big group, big groups of people getting drunk, getting, you know, drunk in public, man. Like your inhibitions just, you're not in the same state. You're not in clear thinking, um, so, you know, I have serious concern over that, you know, luckily the place that I work at, you know, they're hearing our concerns and they're only bringing back a handful of people at a time based on what the business needs are. You know, I'm on commission based, um, my position, my leadership position has been eliminated. So I'm already making less money as soon as I walk back in there and on top of it, I don't, if my clients don't come back right away, I'm not making any money. And if my clients don't feel safe, they're not going to come back. So, um, you know, it's a challenging spot where I'm at, but um, I'm not going to sit here and try to promote like, Hey, it's safe or, you know, we need to get, I need to get back to work cause I need to make money. It's like, nah, dude, like shit's more important than, than my paycheck right now. You know, I'm not hurting for money by any means. Um, yeah. Does it do something to me in the long run financially? You know, sure. But that can always be, there's always ways to make money. You know, there's, there's not a way to bring somebody's life back. Um, so yeah, it's a, it, it's a challenge. Um, you know, with, with this change, you know, you get people that are, they think that it's open season now. So, you know, so look, like you look at like Florida and other places like that, and they're, yeah. they're paying a big price because people are, are just going freelance. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. So the, so the, the, I agree. So the challenge is, you know, there's gotta be conversations that happen. So, you know, people are ready, like me, I'm like, I'm exhausted thinking about all the different things that we've had to think about. I'm exhausted having the conversations and, you know, now it's like, here's, here we go again, you know, here's another, another series of people are going to be bitching and moaning and point fingers at each other and politics are still politics. So people are going to choose sides on stuff. And it's just like, Fuck, man, you know, uh, here we go again. So, um, yeah, so from my end, uh, just exhausted. <laughs> um, hope people stay safe and, 
you know, just continue to be smart, man. The, the, the virus is, is still out there. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. People no. need to continue to do what they, they were doing. And if not, try even harder. Like it's not going to stop. You know, I said the other day to, uh, to somebody, I can't remember where I was, where we were. It was on after work. I think I stopped at the gas station and the, the lady behind them, counter she was wearing a mask i was wearing my mask she's like god these things are so stupid i'm like you know everybody has that same uh, uh, you know attitude but i can tell you right now i said everybody just needs to get used to it i said it's gonna be like this for at least another year or two it's like you yeah. know embrace it like make the best of it that's all you can do that's the and, best you can and, do and 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 stop like coming up with these excuses as to why like we don't have to wear a mask like just i'm, I'm done with it man like my one of my biggest frustrations of the conversation I had with my bosses. I said, you know, are we following Chicago's rules or Illinois' rules? You know, are people required to wear a mask at all times or not? And then, and, and I love the guy to death. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not knocking him for anything. If anything, he's reading from a script, a script that he was given from corporate, you know, corporate. These are, these, yeah, these are the things that you need to say. Um, but one of the things is, you know, he, he tells me, well, you know, it's, it's it's dangerous. We don't require people to wear a mask when they exercise because it's dangerous. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, I've I've worked for the company for about eight years. During that time, at least once a day, you see somebody working out in one of those high altitude simulating masks mm -hmm. that restrict airflow. Mm -hmm. And nobody. Nobody said one word during those eight years that, hey, those things are dangerous. We sh you shouldn't be exercising in them. So, like, now for them to all of a sudden say, like, it's dangerous. And the other thing, too, is like, okay, like, where's your research then? You know, show me the research. You know, I'll, I'll agree with you that it's dangerous if somebody has asthma or any type of respiratory uh, issue. Then, yes, absolutely. But guess what? those people shouldn't be going to a gym in the first place anyways, man. Like those are the people that should be, you know, taking things a lot more seriously than anybody else. Like they, 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 in my opinion, those people shouldn't be putting themselves at risk. Um, so like, I don't know, like to me, it's, I, I'm sick of hearing this people coming up with these fucking asinine reasons as to why, you know, for, for, for the benefit of them. You know, not for the benefit of everybody else, but for the benefit of them. You know, uh, I always go back to like, it's not about me. It's about we, you know, it's not about what's happening to me. It's about what's happening to us. So, you know, hearing something like that, it's just like, like, first of all, knowing what I know, like, don't insult my intelligence. Second of all, like, this is something that I've witnessed that you haven't, you know, checked on. And now all of a sudden you're going to check it. And now, like, I'm supposed to believe like, You've never checked anybody on anything in the past. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to be 100% compliant with it. Yeah, why, really, why now? That's what it boils down yeah, to. Because really, yeah. you have to be 100% compliant with this shit. Because somebody dies because they get, and they gets traced back to, to, you, to Lifetime. Guess what? And you got a fucking lawsuit on your hands. Yep. Oh, yeah. that's exactly it. I mean, there's, there's, that's, we've had this conversation in the past here. Like, when this stuff is all said and done. There's going to be so many lawsuits. There's going to be so much finger pointing. It's going to be a whole different type of prejudice going on. It's it's just it's crazy. Yeah. So so you know I just I just slammed my my place of employment. I got to give both sides of the coin here too, man. Like they've done a great job of looking out for our best interest. You know they could have easily just told all the trainers they need to come back immediately. They're doing it in waves based on the um, the business, so people don't get screwed over on their unemployment. So, Which is smart. Yeah, yeah. Kudos to that. Like, I can't, I can't say that. Um, I'm not thinking that they don't have, or they're not ever looking out for us, or that there's evil intent. Um, I just don't like the 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 way that their their side is being presented. I guess if that makes sense. Yeah. I see. I see where they're coming from. Um, I just don't like having the power stripped away from me. Saying like, I don't. Because basically telling me it's, you know, it's dangerous. That's that you're using something that I, you know, I can't defend without actually giving me any research or anything, you know, to to to, to back it. It's like basically like, 
Like, here's an argument that you'll never be able to overcome, but I don't have anything that backs that argument. Like, with, with no education of how to actually achieve, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So, but that's, dude, that's standard operating procedure, man. That's, that's our... <laughs> that's SOP. You know, yeah, that's not... Yeah, SOP. That's not... That's not just them. I'm sure, you know, other people are experiencing some some form of that, if not the same thing in other places. Yeah. And, you know, it's it's tough. It's tough on their end too. I'm not I'm not trying to deny their experience. Yeah, I imagine yeah. it would be a very scary situation to be in, you know, to, to have to think about that stuff in that type of a you know job environment. Um, I've I've been in the gyms and I've done different things like that, you know, in the past. But I've never had to work in it, I, and I don't. I've never had to be that, you know, around so many people that that particular way in that type of an environment. So I can imagine where it would be a lot on on the mind, um, kind of like standing there on top of that escape pod on Subnautica. You know, you just kind of look around and you're like, "Oh man, the unknown it's underneath me." You know, like that's it's just it's a whole lot man what a what a crazy yeah. crazy time we're going in uh, i started to believe that 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 we've still been in it but at the same time it comes as no surprise that we're going to be here for so much longer and it's not i can't really blame all kinds of people there's no finger point it's just we as a society you know are doing okay we could all try a little harder i'm sure you know i'm sure that even when people are doing their best, that doesn't mean that they don't feel that they could be doing better. Um, that's, that's the, that's human nature. Yeah. I think, um, for me, it's like the, the time for bitching about stuff was like two months ago. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you're still, if you're still having these conversations, bitching about stuff and not like providing solutions or, or, or even worse, not being open to having discussions on, on how to, you know, figure something out where everybody, you know, everybody does feel a little bit safer, uh, you know, we're just shutting those discussions down or we're just not opening to having them. It's like, what is, how is that helping anything? You know, I, uh, that, I, um, that, that uh, just reeks of like, that's just reeks of like, okay, like you only know the one out of a million different scenarios that is going to, to be the best scenario. And it's like everybody else is a fucking moron because they don't know what you know. And you're smarter than everybody else. You know, like the it's not one person that's going to solve all this. It's 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 a collective group of, of smart people having challenging conversations from different backgrounds um, that are representative of. You know, everybody that people are experiencing, you know, like one of the things, um, you know, I had a heated discussion with um a guy that's i mean he's ride or die trump and i mean we were screaming at each other and um i just like had to take a step back and i'm like dude like like think about this for a second because like here's the thing that irritates me it's like there's something that's out of our control that is coming between a friendship right now you know and to me like that's the most irritating thing it's like you know, he wanted to get his point across. Like he didn't feel like he was hurt. I didn't feel like I was hurt. Um, but to me, like the bigger picture is like, dude, like we're getting divided, man, over, over, you know, over colors. Over, yeah, like it's. Uh, I'm like, you know, I'm red to the point and, red and blue. Just, I'm just gonna tell him, like, dude, like I respect, I respect where you're coming from. Like I can understand where you're coming from. I, I'm not going to sit here and say that you're wrong because I, I, I don't want to do what you're doing. Like you're telling me I'm wrong and that, you know, I don't know. I think the other thing too, is the, the labels, the labels just need to stop. man. like, he started throwing labels at me. He's like, well, you're a racist because of this. And, oh, well, you're one of those woke people. And you know, you're, you, 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 you mean to tell me you're a woke person. And I'm like, I never told you once that I'm a woke person. And he's like, oh, well, you support Black Lives Matter. And don't you realize that this and that? I'm like, again, you're making assumptions that are completely untrue. Like you're, you're, you're painting me, at, you're, you're painting a label on me that's easy that like, like, yes, I support 
the theme of Black Lives Matter. Are there some things that they're probably doing with money that I don't agree with? Absolutely. That's any time that any fucking organization gets a lot of funding. Guess what? Like when people are involved, like shit's going to go wrong. Even I mean, you have it even, you know, to chair, the most charitable organization, man, like you could have some corruption in that. Like that doesn't, I'm not going to discredit, you know, all these people, like everybody that supports this then is, is suddenly, you know, uh, uh, an idiot for doing so. Like, like, no, like I support the overall message and I do think that there is a problem. Like, oh, well you support them. And that's the other thing. It's like, dude, like it's not them, it's us, dude. Like get that in your head. Like, problem is it's like you, you think them 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 it's like this is america dude it's not them like it's us they live there are those are our neighbors dude like exactly. we had a we had a, a shooting uh and my girlfriend works for uh for hospital and uh you know trauma it's a trauma one you know so a lot of uh the shootings that happen in chicago you know they they, they come there so there was one last night uh 11 year old girl that looking out her front window, dude, like at home, looking out her front window, got a freaking bullet in the head, dude. Like, mm-hmm. like that's our neighbor, dude. Like, so when people say like, Oh, well, you know, that's because of that neighborhood or that's, it's like, it's our neighborhood, dude. Like that's, that's Chicago. Like, like it fucking kills me when people say like, Oh, Chicago is like, Oh, it's, you know, it's horrible. Trump's comparing us to Afghanistan and this and that like people joke about it it's like dude you're fucking joking about my neighbor dying man like mm-hmm. like, like just I don't know man like there's nothing funny about that you know what I mean no, like we've we've um and this was the challenge I said this I think a couple weeks ago about the, the that lyric that that I heard that hit home to me man it's like the real tragedy in all this is that we that we've been robbed of our empathy and it's like when we have those conversations like you don't even think for a second, like what actually happened? You know, I have to think about it a lot more because I, I, you know, I talked to my girlfriend about it and help her get through it, you know, cause she, you know, she sees it firsthand and it's like, fuck oh, man. Um, so yeah, the labels, the labels just, the labels are too easy. Um, no, nobody's one label. Um, and just have some more empathy, man. Like, I don't know, dude. Our, our empathy is is at an all time low these I'm, days. It's I'm, busy. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty drained on empathy lately, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's been tough. You know, it's just constantly getting barraged with this and this and this and that, and you're getting called racist because you make one comment about something or whatever. You know, it's just it's everything's extreme now. Yeah. It's not. People it's, are it's, very it's, emotional. It's, there's no, there's no, you know, gray area at all. There's no, like, I agree with what this person does, but I also agree with this side does. You yeah. Know, or yeah. I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's all, well, if you support him, you're racist, or if you support him, you don't, you know, you're, you're, you're against America. And if you, if, you know, something as simple as a fucking mask, you know, like I've had, you know, I've had to deescalate uh, conversations with people, um, over a mask because it's like if you start talking about the you know yeah. i had a, a a really good i have a really good friend of mine i've known for gosh 30 years what, how old am i 43 i've known him for like 25 years um really really good friends been through a lot of sh- crap together and uh, hi olivia <laughs> watch my mouth my potty mouth <laughs> um she came but uh Oh, that's right. You got headphones on. Yeah, I can't, <laughs> she can't hear you. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I had to catch myself there for a second. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was. It's it, we're talking about the face mask thing, and I'm like, you know, talking about it. He's like, and I, I mean, him are fine now, but it, it's got to the. It was. It was a comment of, "You're not one of those people, are you?" <sighs> and I'm like, I'm like, really, man? How long have you known me for, dude? Come on. You know, and it's just he's he's I understand where he's coming from. I've been friends with him. I know he didn't mean it personally. You know what I mean? But he's like, come on, you don't believe and that's like, yeah, you know what? I do believe in I do believe that there is some risk. I don't think the face and we had I had to get into an explanation with him and yet even after all of the explanation of, you know, it's not just a mask, it's the sanitizing, it's the keeping six feet away, it's the whole enchilada. It's not just the beans, you know what I mean? Like you're you're opposed to the beans. I'm talking about the whole enchilada. You need to make sure that you're doing the whole thing. 
in order for it to be somewhat effective. Nobody is saying it's going to be 100% effective against this, but it's going to lower the risk. And to be inconvenienced with a face mask, to me, isn't that big of a deal. But oh, some people, even my really, really good friends, are just so against it that they they get blinded and horse, you know, horse blinded by it. Where you know it's this, 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 and this, and that's it. And I still love them. I'm still friends with them. You know what I mean? But I just can't. I can't. I, I'm realizing that I can't interact with people anymore because my my temper is, is will end up coming back out. And I'm trying to stay as cool and calm and collective as possible. And if it doesn't directly affect me right now or my family, I'm not messing with it. I'm not. Uh, I'm not dealing with it. I'm just. I'm working on taking care of myself and my family and my friends, and that's it. Yeah. Because it's just it's. It's too, it's too, it's too much of a fight to try and change somebody's mind that, and at this point I've, I've done what I feel I could about listening to people and listening to their side and trying to give good points of maybe, Hey, why don't, you know, what about this? Why, why do you think this way and and not this way and not get an actual, I even asking my friend, I said, give me a good argument for not wearing the mask nothing i get i get no response from people and it's i even get i'm getting upset about it now just talking about it you know what i mean like it's just it's frustrating man it's just so frustrating and yeah my bandwidth as i keep saying is just is is it needs to be focused on other things you know yeah, things that make me happy and, and are productive you know like this i can't phys- i can't yeah i can't i can't effectively make a change i mean if somebody out there has an idea on how it's listening, has an idea on how we can effectively make a change, by all means, please speak up in the comments, leave a message, DM me, I don't care what. Just keep it, keep it, you know, friendly, keep it, you know, polite. You know, we're just, we're trying to, we're trying to, as people grow, we're still growing. I'm only 43 years old, almost 44. I'm still growing as a person. Um, So, I mean, as a human being, our brains aren't even fully developed till we're in the mid 20s. I think mean, it's like 25, 26 is when your brain finally starts to fully get developed. So you're still learning for 20 something years after that. You're still learning new things, new things, new things. You know, like, so by all means, leave comments, keep it respectful. We'll do the same. Um, and we appreciate you. Yeah, I think uh, with the with the labels, I mean, you experienced it, man. Like, when people use a label, it's like conversation over. Yeah, it's at that point where you just want to drop the ball and be like, "Look, okay, your game. Have a good one." You know, that's what. Walk yeah, away. I told I told my buddy that when he started, you know, well, you're you're this and you're this and you're this, and I was just like, like, dude, I like, I'm sorry, but like, I'm not listening to you anymore right now because you're you're just you're painting me you're 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 telling me i have these experiences that i've never had and i'm not gonna or they're or they're they're taking your 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 view and they're not even listening to what you're saying yeah they're taking what they see you yeah you know like what they would how they see it they're not even taking into consideration any other angle than what their than what their uh their point of view is so people are just so emotionally driven and they say the craziest things and the 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 reason why i've been listening but i I know you guys are going through it too so there's a band that i really like okay they're called uh a thousand horses they do this song called smoke uh it's their most popular song um they're great you know well on facebook like i don't know sometime this week it had a live thing come up sponsor blah 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 blah. so i'm like all right so i click on this link to watch a thousand horses because it said they were playing live i'm like yeah all right why not so this is just the kind of society we're living in this is why you guys feel fatigued so i'm watching this beautiful performance and these guys man they are singing their tails off harmonies are great their their music was really on point they were like just making the best of the moment they was like they were truly living and they were playing these <laughs> songs you know which i love i get it because that's that's what i like to do too you know but I, I i did what a lot of people do what am i doing scrolling through the comments <laughs> okay 
So, yeah, uh, so talk I always show. hit the little circle <laughs> with the with the X thing in it now. Always, always. It doesn't matter what I'm on. It doesn't matter if I'm on Xbox, uh, Twitch, like Facebook, Instagram. It don't matter, dude. You got to turn them comments off. But yep. I could send you guys this picture. But these. They're going all these people like, wow, you guys sound great. Big fan, big fan from Kentucky right here. Got a big fan from here. You know, they're all labeling where they're from and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, you guys are sounding so great. And then one guy says, I hope you die slowly from COVID. I'm like, wow, there really is one in every single bunch. <laughs> it, do it doesn't matter what, what people yeah. are doing. It doesn't matter if they're positive people. It doesn't matter if they're doing something great. People are going to say some rude, ignorant stuff. And I just started, I just like smacked my my forehead. And then I started laughing because I'm like, I don't know what this guy's thinking or girl or whatever. I don't, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know what they're going through. But that is the problem with our society right now. Like, just because you can say something doesn't mean you should. Like, you're, uh, I was just like. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it totally killed the whole experience of that video for me. No matter how great the song was or how great the performance was, I will never think of that song the same because of one retarded. I'm sorry that it's not the right terminology, but this one person that was just not using very good judgment in their choice of words, they were very rude. And it was just like, oh my God. Ugh. So I can see why people are getting fatigued so much, you know, because um, people are always saying some rude stuff or people are just trying to preach about things that they have like so little education on education, 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 education. If you're going to talk about something, at least know about it. If you're going to, if you're going to back, <laughs> if you're going to back up something, try, try at least to do a little bit of understanding of what you're talking about. You're like me, I don't know much about many things, so. I just fake it, but I don't go out. <laughs> I don't go off on tangents on other people's pages. I'm not trolling no one's page. If somebody posts something about their view on something, cool, man. They're entitled to that. I look at it. I, I read through things, and I'm like, good for them. I'm glad they stand their ground on that. You know, or that's cool, or whatever. But then you see all those other people that fire back instantly. People like they're just so emotionally driven right now. People take everything you say and they twist it. They take everything you think and they're going to try and tell you what to think and how you should think. It's like, it's ridiculous. With so, social media is at its all time worst right now because people, there's, there's been more people home and have absolutely nothing better to do with their time than to, to, than to do that. So I don't yeah. know. I guess that's, that's another thing that'd be nice when people go back to work for them. But Going back to work is scary. It's been scary the whole time. I've been working the whole time, and it's been scary every day. I am. You go I am, back Tuesday. I am scared every single day of my life, man. And you know what? What we do? We we smile. We tell jokes to each other, and we just make the best of it. You know, that's all we as a human race can do right now. A oh, human... I wish I could do that when I go back to work. <laughs> yeah, we'll be by myself in the chip aisle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. Me but, and my boxes and bags. <laughs> but but at least they won't be trolling anything you say to them. <laughs> oh, I, I made a mistake. You guys want to hear a stupid thing? I, I said, uh, I'm going to confess to it. Uh, I, I did it two days ago. A buddy of mine posted something on Facebook. Is this a how dumb am um, I? Yeah, it was, it was, a, it was okay. I, I made a mistake and I had to apologize to him. Because he made he made a comment, I'll 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 read it right now so I don't screw it all up. Clear in the air. Yeah, I just well, I mean, just the same thing. I made I was I was I'm really good friends with this guy, and I made a comment, I made a joke, and because uh, I've seen the same thing he posted like a thousand times on Facebook, and it's this uh, it's it's a re it's a he forwarded he he shared a post from a guy named Eric at Elvuk who shared a post from Jared Price and Jared Price said if you are a Christian and you can't and can't hear hashtag Black Lives Matter without feeling the need to respond with a 
with the criticism that all lives matter, then crack open your Bible and hit up Luke 15. Don't have it handy? Let me summarize. There are a hundred sheep, but one goes missing. Jesus leaves the 99 sheep and goes after the one. The 99. But what about us? Don't we matter? Of course the 99 still matter, but they're not the ones in danger. The one is. I'll say it again, Black Lives Matter. And I said, if Jesus leaves the other 99, won't the won't they wander, wander off and he'll lose a whole flock? I'm confused. Bad joke, bad timing. Just my reaction at the time of seeing this same exact post being shared by more than half my timeline. I literally oh, yeah. saw this thing eight times in one day. Um, so he said, you know, he, he responded appropriately. He said, not a joke, TJ. This is serious to me. And I said, I'm sorry. And I said, I just don't know anyone who actually thinks that black lives don't matter. And he's like, that's a good thing. You'd be surprised. You know, if you have these kinds of people in your life, then you should get rid of them. Just kind of, you know, like if you, if you seriously have these people on your Facebook page, you should be getting rid of these people. They shouldn't be in your, in your life, you know? Um, but yeah, that was my stupid comment moment where I, I let my emotions get the best of me. Did you say vest? Did you say the vest? Vest. The vest. It sounded the like vest. you said the vest. I'm just pointing that out. Um, so I'm not Joe, I'm not by any means claiming that I'm perfect, but it's like it's like how many times can somebody share you know what I mean? Like it's it's just it it was just at the point that, that I was just like, no. <laughs> I gotta make I gotta make a, a joke here or I'm gonna lose my mind. So here's here here's here's a joke for you. You're a Patriots fan, right? Yep. Awkward. So <laughs> that's the joke, huh? Gotcha. That's a good one. What's what's their what's their stadium? Gillette Stadium. And what's what's Gillette's jingle? The best a man can get. The what? The what? The best. Uh, the best. <laughs> Got him. Uh, the best a man can get. I had, to, I had to work for that one. <laughs> I want to tell you guys a joke so bad right now, but it's definitely not appropriate. I'm about a minute, I think, away from posting my my video commentary video on Facebook. Thanks Hopefully so. I posted the right one, because it's going to be pretty embarrassing if it's unsynced. <laughs> Did you say in sync, as in the boy band? Yes, I don't mess with in sync. Well, is that tearing up your heart or whatever? <laughs> tearing up my heart. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where that trans music starts hitting right there. Right there, Rasta. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, so <laughs> that stuff's so much fun. Sounds like, hey, TJ, I'm going to send you a song to listen to. <laughs> All right. I think you're going to like it. Um, but yeah, uh, this week hasn't been too, uh, t you know, out of the normal. It's just been day after day doing the same thing. Friday, we played a show. It was, it was, it was, it was awkward. You know, yeah. we were, we were on the stage. Knocking the dust off? Uh, yeah, you know, we were, we were in our little area. Everybody else was in like their little areas, you know. And there was like a wedding going on or something, a wedding reception that we didn't know that was going to be happening there. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> so that was that was that was different. Uh, Free music for the wedding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, small party. I mean, there there was there wasn't very yeah. many people at this venue at all. Christ, like <laughs> you can't mother, you can't do that. It's better cousin. that way. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, so playing shows is still enjoyable, even playing for a smaller crowd. Uh, you know, I, I can't deny that. I enjoyed playing that virtual show uh, because it was just me and my, my friends. We were just sitting here, you know, playing the songs, but playing in front of people, seeing their reactions to it, and that's like the energy of it. The, you know, there was people of different, uh, you know, age levels and different walks of life, and it was awesome. We were all there just to smile and listen to some good music. Um but it was definitely awkward. Um, and that's just the way it's going to be for 
for a while, no matter where you go or what you're going to do. Um, or you could turn like I Spy into a new game, you know, like I Spy new innovations. I spy things that they're doing differently uh, these days to have their business be able to run. Uh, because everywhere you go, it, it's happening. It's happening everywhere. Okay. And but the thing We're is, a new... it's still it's it's the way things for the most part should have been the whole time. Mm-hmm. Well, we're getting a uh, a new drive-in theater in and what is the yeah. is the uh, the big the big city on Cape Cod is Hyannis. I mean, it's a town, you know what I mean. But it's basically like this is where everything really is. Um, so there, apparently, I saw something on the uh, Cape Cod news about uh, it being up soon over there. That'd be nice. Give people a way to be socially distant, but yeah. still be able to enjoy themselves. I, yeah, that's uh, that's one of my frustrations. What I was saying before about like the time for bitching and moaning is two months ago. Like we're behind on coming up with solutions, man. Like that's a solution right there. Hey, like what's going to get more done bitching and moaning that you can't see a theater or mm-hmm. somebody like, Hey, why don't we make a, why don't we figure out how to, how yeah, to we use- have, we have a good one here already, yeah. but it's like, it's way out uh, on in the middle of the Cape. So it's like halfway between one end of the Cape, halfway between the other, um, yeah. which is a good spot for it, but it's kind of hard to get, you know, it's like an hour drive from here. Um, to get there. The other solution too, or the other thing too, is like, you know, we don't know the solution yet. I mean, I'm looking at the graph right now we're, <laughs> for new cases in the U S dude, we're, we're, we're higher for the last two days than we were at our highest point on April 6th. Um, so it's like, we clearly don't know the right answer yet. Yeah. So anybody that says that they know the right answer is a freaking idiot. The data, the, the data says otherwise. So it's like, like let's have the conversations. Let's let's stop the finger pointing. Let's stop the bitching and moaning. And like let's just get to figuring this thing out. You know, um, I I can't sit here and 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 uh, you know agree with the extreme nationalism that's going on right now, saying America's the greatest and America's the greatest. And it's like I'm looking at a graph here right now that says you know not so much we're supposed to be the smartest we're supposed to be the wealthiest mm-hmm. yet we're getting our asses handed to us by a pandemic that the entire world knew about it's not like yeah like we were the last to know or anything like that so um i think uh i, I think what's the word i'm looking for you know with struggle with struggle comes humility and the people that are are not you know, accepting of, of what's going on right now or think it's a hoax. Um, what's missing there is their humility, you know, and anybody that's been through a really fucking struggle in life, they'll tell you, man, like they became humble because of it. They became resilient because of it. They became patient because of it. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of fear and people are afraid to, to do the look inward that we all need to do. Um, but the best thing that comes out of that is you get better because of it. Dude. Like people are afraid that things are going to change. It's like, guess what's going to, I don't, I, I, maybe you got another planet that you can, that you got on standby that you can go and uh, go, go live on. But, like things are changing, dude. Like get on board. <laughs> Jamie's preparing to go to Mars. <laughs> Great game. Great soundtrack. There are there are yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. There are radio stations in that, Jamie. I played it, dude. I played it forever, and then I realized, like, maybe a week into playing that game, I'm like, oh, there's a soundtrack in it. There's like four other radio stations that I can do it because the the first one that they set you up with is really cool, man. It's like really ambient, you know, kind of futuristic, just kind of good background music. (laughs) Um, I was like Rocket League and find out there was more than just that one or two playlists. Same thing. Yeah. (laughs) Same thing. And I was like, oh, that, yeah, there's more music. <laughs> then when that happened, I'm like, oh, dude, this is awesome. Oh, <laughs> fine. Spoiler alert. Surviving <laughs> Mars will be out tomorrow at 5 p.m. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's the one you're posting? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm, I apologize. I My no bad. Yeah. 
That's why you're making those faces. I apologize. Sorry. Well, no, Nick. I'll just have to figure out this whole companion thing. Uh, that that Xbox companion or whatever. Because I I brought glasses. It might, it your setup might work better than mine. I don't know. I just that's that's just the easiest way I could figure out how to do it. And it's still a pain in the ass. Well, doing it the way that I did it. Um, it was it was only nice because I was able to do it in real time, you know, mm-hmm. without having to go through and do a bunch of editing or realigning or nothing. Um, because I've done that in my life and it's just not fun at all. And uh, yeah, yeah, I learned that. Yeah, yeah. So I, you know, I made a small sacrifice on my audio control um, to be able to go through my gotcha. uh, through you know to be able to record it through Twitch. Um, but I sacrificed the audio, which I couldn't do as well through my board, or I could have done better through my board, but doing a commentary, um, again, I told you guys this on, on the last few podcasts is something I want to get better at doing. So, um, I liked, I, I like the suggestions that you guys have been, you know, throwing at me. And I like the, uh, suggestions of the overall experience. Cause again, that's what it's all about. It's just, I want to be the best version of myself every day. Uh, I know I won't be the best version of myself today if I settled for who I was yesterday or, you know, settled for what I've done. I always want to get better. I always want to be better. I always want to try harder. Um, and, uh, yeah, so with, like, those reaction videos and stuff, I'm really looking forward to showing people, uh, you know, just kind of just the way that I am whenever I'm doing something like watching something. But at the same time, that's the weird part is you have to also figure out how to do it. You have to figure out like to really be yourself out outward and in real time. If that makes sense. I know who I am upstairs. I know what I'm thinking when I'm, when I'm doing it, but it's to do it at the same time. That's where it becomes an actual uh, gift and it becomes uh, something that you do work for and it becomes a good craft and and when when you watch people like announcers do sports games and stuff my hat comes off so much so much higher and faster for them that is not easy to do and uh, yeah maybe one day I'll get good at it uh, <laughs> so surviving Mars was the, the game that I did today uh, also is subnautica um, <laughs> And uh, I had fun doing it, though. Like that, that's that's the thing is they're enjoyable. Um, yeah, I mean, I you, you learn as you go along. Um, again, you know, I'm going to be doing reactions on uh, some songs and some some different videos and stuff. You guys have been sending me things. Um, if anybody wants me to send them anything, let me know. Um, because uh, yeah, it's fun. Um, the podcasting has been the, the best blessing for me throughout the whole pandemic. Um, and even after the pandemic's over, I, I would like to for sure continue to do it. Um, I've had people ask me this week, they're like, well, since you guys are going to be opening up green on Friday, does that mean you're going to stop, you know, focusing on your podcast and stuff? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Anytime soon. That's that, yeah. that that's been my anchor this whole time. Like, I've had a few friends, you know, this whole pandemic, um, and you really do find out who your friends are and who your friends aren't. Um, and there's my girl. <laughs> Hello. Hi, uh, Olivia. They said hi. You want here? You want to say hi to the guys? You sure? All right. So last night, Olivia and I, we finished watching the second half of the Garth Brooks biography. Oh, gosh. I haven't watched it yet. On I'm so Netflix. scared. <laughs> I enjoyed it because, I again, heard it was cringy. Because, well, you know, when I was 11 years old, my parents started teaching line dancing. And oh, okay. uh, at that time, it was. You know, all prior to that, all I listened to was um, all kinds of different things. Really, I guess I can't label it to one style or that style, but I know that when I was eleven, and I started really listening to country because we were line dancing to it. Um, that would have been I was eleven, so that would have been ninety four. So, a lot of bands like Garth Brooks, uh, 
solo. Uh, Tracy Bird. Uh, actually, Tracy Bird might have came along a little later than that. Um, Shenandoah. There was just a whole... Alan Jackson. There was just a whole bunch of groups, you know, and, and bands Jackson. and stuff. And country music at the time. And uh, so I learned a lot of it because we danced to it. And I've just fell truly in love with the music ever since. Um, I tried to deny it. You know, I, I played rock music and heavy metal for a long time. And they were all equally enjoyable to play. That doesn't mean that it was like the music that really hit home with me. Mm -hmm. um, I think the best way to explain it is the way that, uh, that Jerry explains it to me about the experience. It's not about it's not about this or about that. It's about the experience of what it is for yourself. And I think mm -hmm. that's what I take a lot more from country music because it feels more more of a story and, and it, the experience is great. Um, mm -hmm. Now the EDM and stuff, the trance music, that's all very, very new to me, but I also have been enjoying that as well. But country has been my, my go-to home for music since 94, you know, and uh, to see as an adult, now that I'm adult, uh, I can see, things differently and then when i watched the actual garth brooks story because all you know is what you saw on the news and the tv about how you know this song and we were dancing to that song dancing to that song mm -hmm. dance that song he's on the radio he's he's doing this he's doing that um he's selling all these cds he's selling all these arenas and then chris Gaines, and then he this and that and all of a sudden bam he's gone you're like what Eh, whatever. So then you just go for years and not caring or think about it because social media didn't exist. Uh, mm -hmm. The internet did not really exist like it does now. So you couldn't see in a split you second. You didn't see after, it day to day. Yeah, you know, after, you know, they, they had it on the news in Nashville when he retired. Um, I'm sure, you know, but that would have been like one of the few places that had it. And then it just became trickle effect from there. Nowadays, yeah. you, you fart in your backyard, and in five minutes, it's already posted online, and it's got a, a thousand likes if you do it good enough, you know? things Tested are in tr true this morning. <laughs> yeah, things are just so different than they were then. But, yeah, so the biography itself was really good. Um, I watched the first half of it like a week or two ago, and then I watched the second half last night with the kid. She wanted to spend some time together, and, you know, like, that's that's where I'm at in my life every day, man. Like, if the kid wants to hang out, then, damn it, I'm hanging out with my kid. It's like... Yeah. I don't know what has tomorrow has in store for me. You know, all I know is what I have right now. And when I look and I see my daughter and I, I see my wife and I see my dogs and you know what I have here, this is worth fighting for being safe mm -hmm. is like fighting because you're, you're still trying to hold a fort down. And, uh, you know, this is, these guys are worth it to me to continue to, to fight my, my best every single damn day. And, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of people out there have become very selfish and low empathy, but I, I'm also not able to, to really go down that path to judge because I, I, I don't want to be judged myself, but I, I do think people should probably try a little bit harder to think of more than just them, themselves right now. Cause it, it does appear like when you're, when you're driving down the road, you see it. It doesn't matter if you're living in the country uh, where you know is country ish you know country enough or whether you're driving in a big city you see it there's there's people that are walking that are you, you just look and you're like oh man like okay well i guess they're not worried about it you know and then the for the majority you see people complying but like you watch a video for instance on on the internet of anything and they're showing you uh you know it, it's like a four to one ratio you got you know f four people wearing a mask one person not and then it it just slowly trickles from there it's like don't i don't know man it's just it's scary it's scary and i don't want to see it firsthand i don't want to so mm -hmm. i'm 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 here man i'm i'm doing whatever it takes to keep my family and myself safe and uh I know you guys have been as well, and and to everybody that's listening right now, just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. We we, I know, the ones that I've talked to, uh, and have commented so far, like, we definitely appreciate all your suggestions, and we appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to listen to us. Um, 
this has been the, the one of the greatest blessings of my whole life is to have an outlet to just be able to be myself. And that's why it's funny about the commentary. And I, I'm going to get back to that point. Uh, you know, doing, doing anybody that doesn't know, it's, you know, telling the story during an event or during a video or, or a, a frame of mind, a frame of anything. Um, it, we used to call it back in the day, you know, just talk overs, but it's, it's really awesome to be able to live in a life and to live in a time where you can do that and you can show people how you feel about things genuinely, genuinely. You can't, you're not hiding. You're just being yourself. And that's what I'm trying to do is be the, be myself and to be a better version of myself. Have I been perfect in my life? Hell no. Hell no. I made a shit ton of mistakes. I make, I make mistakes every single day of my life. You know, we all do. All you can do is just keep trying to move forward and better yourself. And, uh, yeah, so the next commentary, I'm not sure when I'm going to do it on yet. I'm going to start dropping them, though. Uh, I'll probably start releasing the, uh, you know, pick a certain time of the day or a certain time of the week at a certain time and, and drop some, you know, videos for everyone. Uh, I've been trying to, you know, let people know that we've been doing things on YouTube. and We're trying to develop you know, a stronger following on there. Um, we're trying to, but we're still trying to keep a, a strong, you know, presence on, you know, other areas like the social media, the SoundCloud, Spotify. Um, so if there's any suggestions that anybody has on content or um, if they just want to let us know how they're doing or how they feel, please don't hesitate to let us know. I know uh, when I, when, when, when it was in the initial conversations of doing them and I had asked, you know, Jerry and TJ both, if they would be interested in doing it, both of them did not bat an eye, did not hesitate for a split second, be like, yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's do this. And, uh, you know, the, still we, we, we hold strong. We, uh, you know, we have friends that are, that are busy at times and they come and they go and, and that's okay. You know, it's, it's everybody's show. I want everybody to have the, just as good of an experience as I do, but, I, I have always appreciated your guys' suggestions and your con great conversations. Um, it was funny to look this week, wasn't it, Jerry, to see that picture of uh, Ron's wedding when it popped up in the in the memories? Ah, uh, ah, uh, man! I I talked to Lilo. I talked to everybody. Man, it was awesome. Just everybody's like, "Oh shit, there it is! What's up?" <laughs> It's too funny. It's too funny, man. You, you you play with somebody online forever, then you meet them face to face, and it's like, holy shit, dude! It's like you hear them talk, and you're staring at their face, and you're like, holy that shit! That doesn't match up to what I thought they were gonna look like. <laughs> Isn't that always the case, though? Holy God, yeah! Man. It doesn't matter what you do, it, it, but it was, but it's still awesome, mm -hmm. man. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I just I thought that picture that that picture that picture man is it, it definitely would have come up the other day. It just put me in a good spot, and I just smiled, and ah, uh, uh, I was like, oh, look at look when at, I came to look at that beard. <laughs> when I came to Pennsylvania, who did who did we see that lives not too far from you? Um, oh, uh, was that Scott? We we game with him. No, it wasn't Scott. I met Scott when, we were, when I was there, but there's somebody else that we saw. Uh, there was Brian, Hellhound. I think it was Br Hellhound. That's who it was. It was Hellhound. I was I was trying to place. I was like, that just doesn't look doesn't look like what he sounds like. You know what I mean? Like in my mind when I met him, I'm like, that is not what I pictured. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you met Hellhound. You met uh, Psycho Hunter. You met uh, Time yep. Burglar. Uh, and Burglar and uh, Scotch. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, uh, Time Burglar or Scott, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, Scotty. And then uh, you met, uh, I think you met my brother Dan. Mm, yep. Yeah. So it was just, uh, you know, it's wild when you actually meet people. Uh, yeah. You know, as the story goes for me, uh, it, it was just an awesome experience. And, and that's the thing is, like, if you just think – do anyone would go to do something like that right now? Mm. No, no, definitely not. But on online, cheers to that. Uh, <laughs> my my uncle Rusty uh, called me yesterday. 
Yeah, and the, the phone was ringing. I'm like, what the hell? And I read it, and I was like, all right, hello. He said, what, you'll not answer a phone? I'm like, what? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, it's your uncle. I said, no, I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> and I haven't talked to him in, you know, like a month or two since the last time we did the uh, take the video chat with the family there. Uh, mm-hmm. But we were talking about, like, the family reunions and stuff. So going to be doing some some of those things and doing some Zoom meetings coming up. Um, I took a break for a little while of doing it outside of the podcast, not because of uh, any particular reasoning, just trying to get better at the audio and the video and get it all set up Mm -hmm. for doing it. Um, I know that like these, just to have a conversation is pretty, it's it's pretty technical, but it's not overcomplicated to get set up. You can do it with your phone or you can get as involved as you want with your computer. Well, then you take it to the next step, and then you add the online streaming with, like, OBS, and then it turns into OBS Stream Labs, and then you bring in Twitch, then you bring in Facebook and YouTube. Like, one of these days, we are going to do a Sprangboro session. On Facebook Live? On Facebook Live. But it's going to be a podcast that we want to interact with, you know? Yeah, yeah. Want a big... Want to do something... You know, it's not going to be promotion way ahead of time, so that yeah, way it's, it'll be an, it'll be, and it'll be one engagement. hell of an event. It'll yeah, be we one want hell engage, of an event. we want the engagement is what we want. We want people to be interacting with it, not just kind of like a pop up event. You know? Yeah, you know, I think it'll be a lot of fun when we whenever we do do a Facebook event um, yeah. with Sprangboro sessions and and also middle age. Um, but yeah, so it'll be it, it's getting into that time of the year now where. It's going to turn into uh, saying hi to the family and doing all that some more. But, it's, uh, you know, again, nothing's changing anytime soon. Come fall time, there, we're going to get hit with another wave. Again, it'll be like the third or the fourth wave by then. And then, uh, but in the fall and winter time, everybody's going to be confined to home even more. Yeah. Now people are going out and enjoying the water, enjoying the scenery, enjoying all that. They will Think of how, how, how people are going to be when they're stuck at home all over again here in the fall and winter. We're going to be making so many reaction videos and stuff to not go bad <laughs> shit crazy. <laughs> I know I'm going to. Um, a lot of them. Uh, going to be doing some gaming, but I'm also going to be working on my music a lot, man. I uh, plan on you know recording an album, hopefully by the end of the year. Nice. Uh, might only be six or seven songs, but I plan on doing that. But those are goals, you know. You just gotta keep, just gotta keep that going and keep yeah, keep exactly. your goals. Uh, you know, I'm I'm trying not to think of the whole uh, pandemic. I'm trying to not think about uh, a lot of the things that are just going out in the world right now, and and, and it's hard to do because you're reminded everywhere. So, uh, yeah, are you guys uh, finding new ways to? To, to, to spend your time here lately, to not be thinking of those types of things or um, is uh, any new goals or anything you wanted to talk about? I, I mean, I went to, a, I went to a, my first gathering yesterday, granted it was eight people maximum at the time where there were the most people there. Um, but the cool thing is, is like we're outside, you know, throwing bags and stuff. So, you know, that was, that was cool. It was fun. It, it, it felt good. But at the same time, like, you could easily, you could, yeah, you could easily see yourself, you know, like just kind of going back to how things uh, used to be before. Um, the reason why I wanted to go to that party um, is because nobody, nobody was drinking there. Um, so that helps, you know, people are, are, are they, they weren't drinkers either. So it's not like, oh, I wish I, you know, yeah. I wish I was drinking, you know, this is kind of, um, it was cool because everybody, everybody was respectful of everybody else's take on it. You know, we all said like, Hey, we all got our own views on this, but you know, like, I, I don't, I'm not going to get mad at you for, you know, saying like, I, you know, keep your distance or anything like that. So, um, though it was nice, man. It was nice just to be outside, see, see a couple faces I haven't seen in, in a long time. And, um, but it was also like, like you said, scary, man, like, like, Hey, I can see this getting, you know, I can see why people are getting more comfortable, uh, more comfortable than they should. So, uh, 
goals. Um, I mean, my goals just continue to continue to educate. Uh, you know, it's like you like I, I, I like I keep saying, you know, think of solutions. You know, that's what I'm doing right now. You know, you're talking about um, a second uh, a second wave coming, and yeah, you know, I'm worried about that too, and I'm trying to put myself in a position to you know, be able to have an income during that time if, if and when it does happen, um, as opposed to just, you know, well, I'm mad at my company for doing this or, you know, or I can't believe that they're going to put me in this position. It's like, it's not going to do anything to, 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 to make me better. Like, Hey, maybe make me feel better about myself for a little bit, but you know, I can bitch and moan all I want. Um, or I can, you know, put the work in the, to, to figure out how to, a, another solution for it, you know, and that's, that's really what, um, uh, sorry, my extra time is being spent on right now is, you know, creating that solution. And the cool thing is, you know, when we, when we do have something to focus on, um, it's a better feeling, you know, you, you feel like you've got control over what's going on during the time that, you know, we, we probably never felt this out of control, you know, ever in our, at least in my generation, you know, I don't ever remember feeling like things are this out of control. Um, so yeah, for me, it's like find ways to, to have some, some control again. Um, you know, going back to the conversations that we have with people, you know, for me, the control is just telling people like, you know, I'm willing to enter in the conversation that you're willing to, see my side of it you know if you're going to go into this conversation and basically the only thing that you want to get out of it is to just spew your opinion on me and not and not hear my experience or or invalidate it then i don't want to enter into that conversation like like tony said perfectly man like i don't have the bandwidth available for that like i i have to i have to save my energy for other things you know jamie you talked about the the empathy you have to you know how much empathy do we have um you know, I got to say my empathy for, um, you know, the, 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 the things that are, are needing it the most right now. You know, I've got a, a close friend of mine. Um, that I think I might have told you guys about him before. Uh, stay, he had stage four uh, brain cancer, glioblastoma. Uh, this is about seven years ago. That's typically if you're stage four, you got three months. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's been beating it. And wow. That's had, awesome. And he had a couple seizures last week, uh, the first time in about four years. Uh, and he's got to have, you know, uh, surgery again on Tuesday, um, which, you know, it's, it's not a good thing. And, uh, you know, I'm scared, I'm scared shitless, you know, I'm, uh, even just the experience, you know, he's gone through it once before, but it, dude, it's a, it's gotta be awake for the surgery. Like, be operating on his fucking brain man he's got to be awake for it you know I, he's not going to feel it but still like yeah, he's got to be able to respond to touches and stuff like that yeah man when they do that um, stuff because they gotta they gotta make sure that he still has motor function and all that yeah and so like when you say like we have to save our empathy like you know my my buddy that was i was in the shouting match with you know he was pissed off because i hurt his feelings and how dare i you know every everything he's done for me as a friend how dare i hurt his feelings and it's like dude i get that um but just understand that like like your feelings right now like like to me you're gonna get over this like mm -hmm. my, like me putting my energy into thinking about my friend that is going through brain surgery is a better use of my energy and like if you can't if you can't see that then fuck man that'd be like you like you on your you know you going into some type of surgery it's like dude like i can't be there for you because i gotta argue with this dude about fucking politics yeah <laughs> you know you'd be pretty you'd be pretty butthurt about that but oh absolutely that, you know um i think that's another thing that irritates me man is people are like minimizing what other people are going through they think they're only ones that suffer man it's like the whole fucking world is suffering right now. Get over yourself. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, they're all trying to one up each other. Like, well, you think you have it the worst? Well, what about me? What about me? What about me? What about me? What about I? What about my family? What about this? What about that? It's like, it's not what I'm saying, man. I'm just saying mm -hmm. how I feel or what I think about something. Yeah. 
I'm not trying yeah. to say that I have it worse than you. I was just trying to say that this is what I'm going through. But people, again, they're just so emotionally driven. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know, man. I think, like, one of the things I've noticed, the people that have the calmest heads about this, the quickest, man, like, common denominator is, it's like, they've been through some shit, man. Like, like they know what it's what it's got to take to get through this stuff. You know, once they get past the emotion, it's like they realize, like, okay, now comes the hard work. You know, now comes the now comes the healing. Now comes the growing part. Um, Beastie Boys uh, had a lyric. They got tons of good lyrics. Um, it takes a second to wreck it. It takes time to build. You know, it's like the pro or the the statues, for instance. You know, um, like I get the frustration, but like tearing down a statue, like versus actually like you know doing something you know tear down a statue that like that's great like you destroyed something cool but like what what are you building like what are we building in its place you know what are we uh i understand that go ahead sorry it's it's easy to destroy something um but to me it's like if that's your only solution to everything um then what are you left with a fucking pile of rubble you know, we, we, if we're going to destroy, if we're going to destroy stuff, like, I don't care if it's right or wrong. It's just like, to me, it's like, if you're, if your only focus is on destruction of stuff, like you're missing the, the hardest part of it. And to me, like the, the best part of it, you know, like creating something new. Um, I, I did a, a, a volunteer one time where we, we built a playground in a, uh, in a uh, impoverished neighborhood. And, you know, all the kids are probably like, over a hundred kids there, man. And just like to, to see the, the gratitude to, to see them coming together as a community and, and, and how grateful they were for it. And then, you know, knowing like leaving that, knowing like, dude, I did something to where like, you know, these people, these people here, like they're going to, they're going to have a better day. You know, even if it's just one more person is going to have a better day because I took the time out to do this, you know, like, like that's like, to me, like, that's what build that that's what building is, you know, like you, we built something um, and it's something new that didn't exist there before. And it's something that people are going to benefit from. Yeah. My, my thought on the the whole statue thing is, is that if you're going to, I understand taking like wanting to get rid of those statues and tearing them down. I understand the the emotion, the raw emotion behind that and the raw thought behind it. But in the same aspect, why don't instead of just tearing it down and not doing anything constructive to correct anything or to educate people, why don't we put something up in its place? Put a famous black historian that is very little known about, you know, an inventor or something and, and put something up a plaque with maybe a description and, you know, a, a history of that person to replace that statue that's that you feel is is based on hate um, and and maybe turn it into a teaching spot, you know, someplace where people can grow and maybe learn something Um instead of just destroying it and then okay now that's destroyed what are we doing now now it's the syrup now we're gonna we're gonna go change that syrup when in fact that syrup in my mind that's an achievement that's a that's a success story in america you know what i mean like that's that's america's heart and soul is is aunt jemima syrup it's it's a success story it's a black woman that came out of you know to, uh, poverty and, and raised up sold her 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 company to and made million uh, i believe she was the first million dollar uh black woman in america i mean make a statue to that you know what i mean like it's it's or change the name of the syrup to the lady's actual name you know what i mean like why do you got to take away the identity that created that? You know what I mean? You're erasing the identity of what that started from. You know, the whole purpose for that was that she could spread her love and her love of food across the, the nation to the world. You know, why are we stripping that person of, you know, that woman of, of, of that achievement because of what the, the name implies? Let's change it. Let's, let's change the name to something positive, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. Like when companies are doing these type of things, like to me, it's like it's reactive. It's all it is. Like, oh, okay. Um, what have we, like going back to the 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 playground analogy? Well, what have we built in its place? Like, what have we what have we done to to to, to make it better off? It's like yeah. 
I don't know. The, a lot of it is just kind of like to appease people, but there's, it's, it's talk, you know, it's all, it's all talk. It's, it, it looks great on paper, but you know, are, do you have hiring practices that you've allowed where, you know, certain people get a better, uh, more favoritism or, or, or better opportunities than other, like, you know, like mm. do those type of things, man, look within, like, yeah, it's, it's the same thing as I said before, man, it's like, look within ourselves, you know, companies, like look within your own company, you know, don't just, yeah. like, that's just like saying like, well, hey, uh, to me, it's the equivalent of like, like somebody saying like, hey, I'm not racist. And, and, and people, if you're and listening, like, stop looking to celebrities for this all knowing advice on what to do and where to go. That's Amer- that's they're America. just people, man. They're just people like you and I, they're not, they're, they're not smart. They're not smarter than you or I, they just can memorize lines. They're good at acting. That's their yeah. job. Stop looking at them. Like they, they have to have all of the answers for you. Okay. Don't, don't put all this. Yes. They made a mistake and they went and they made this stupid insensitive video about, uh, let, or not maybe not insensitive, but just this falls on deaf ears of, of you know, we, I will not let racism stand. You know, they're just people, man. They're being reactive. They're trying to. They're all reading off of a script for crying out loud. You know what I mean? Like they're not. This isn't each one of them coming out and going. You know what? Let's get together and see what we can do. You know, check what these people donate to to to, to businesses and, and to foundations. You know what I mean? Look at that if you're going to look at for for some kind of inspiration from from somebody. You know, don't look at the, you know some video they did and go, ooh, well they. They did this stupid video. Yeah, they're going to do a stupid video. They, It's almost required for half of them, you know, to stay relevant. I mean, I, I knew maybe half of the people in that video, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's, it's just stop looking at these people like they're, they have the answers and they're going to tell you what you, you know, they're setting the standard. They're not, they're just highly paid. They're actors. They're just people. They yeah, also they're, need to be, sorry, go ahead, please. There's a, uh, I, I, uh, give two experiences here that 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 support what you're saying um so uh i used to talk to a girl uh from from wales and you know she came out here a couple times to visit and she was just there are certain things that like that that she would experience i was just like wow this is kind of weird um and one of the things that always stuck with me she's like like man americans are like infatuated with their celebrities she's like we don't like they don't have that kind of power back, back home. You know, people don't look up to them like we do. Um, so it's, yeah, you're right, dude. It's just something that we've accepted or we, we think that, you know, it's these people because we see them all the time. They're, they have positions of authority. Um, and then, uh, I, I was talking about, I I got a good buddy of mine. Um, he's, uh, Canadian. He's here on a a work visa, special, uh, specialized work visa. And you know, I asked him his take on it. I'm like, dude, from, you know, an outside perspective, you know, what's your take on the whole COVID thing? He goes, look, man, he goes, the uh, Americans, like personal, per, people's personal freedom is, is more important than public health. And he goes, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. <laughs> He's like, it was such a, like it was so cool to hear like an outside perspective of it, you know, it's cause it's just like, he's seeing it from the, you know, he doesn't have a political say in this. Mm-hmm. Like he's not, he's not driven by politics. He's not, you know, Oh, Trump, you know, Republicans need to win the next election or Democrat. Like he don't give a shit about any of that stuff, man. He's just seeing it from, yeah. you know, an un, unbiased, you know, his only bias is that he wants to still work here. You know, that's really would be the only bias that he would have. Um, and to just hear his perspective of like, that's kind of what I've been saying, man. It's like, dude, like the, the, the concern over our neighbor versus the current concern over the, the, uh, how easy we have things. Um, yeah. it's just, it's, it's crazy to him and it's crazy to me too. It's, it's maddening almost like we, the people is, it's not I, the person, it's we, the people. Well, again, it has to do with it's, it's, our our whole um setup is 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 news cycle based so whereas you know like with canada and things like that it's not they're not a fact infatuated with news and entertainment you know they're you know a lot of these places overseas they're more 
one-on-one -on -one with people, you know, and, and we're so, our society is so driven by Facebook and, and the news cycles and the entertainment cycles that, you know, we, we feel like, you know, we're entitled to so much because of the, the amount of things that we have at us, thrown at us. And I, I just think that they, it's, it's used against us on, on a daily basis, you know, by a lot of these, these corporations. Oh, yeah. We had the conversation before, man, about like if you click on something on the Internet and then Facebook gives you advertisements about it. It's like, dude, our, we're there's so much data collected on how we react to things like they oh, yeah. know how we're going to react to things. So they they engineer whatever's going to give the best reaction based on what their data shows, dude. And it's like they've done that. They've got the smartest people in the world figuring that shit out, man. And it's like. I see that when I, you know, when I had that conversation with my friend, it's just like, like dude, this is like, you're, you, this isn't even you, like, who, like, who is this person? And even me, like, the, the point that I got to, it's like, who, like, who am I, man? Like, whoa. Um, so it's scary, man. It's almost like, do we really even have control of our own thoughts and beliefs that, you know, where, where we're at right now? Like, like us, you know, we were here before the internet was here, you know, so we're, to me, we're blessed in that in that respect is because we've seen how it was before. We see how it is now. Um, but what about these generations that the social media has always been there? You know, it's a different world it's for, a different for them. World. Yeah, it's a different world. And, and to me, like, it's such a disingenuous world that 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 they've been exposed to since day one. And they've got people that know how they're going to think mm. and they're they're engineering conversations a certain way to get you to think a certain way. It's like, good well, it's, it's the good. same type of gap jump or that's between jump and gap that between us and our grandparents, what they came up with, you know what I mean? In comparison to how we were, we came up really two totally different worlds. Um, yep. You know, so our thinking is going to be a little bit different as well. And I try to take that into consideration whenever I have a conversation with somebody that's, you know, late late teens, early 20s, you know, trying to think of, okay, what was it like for, you know, me back then in that age versus them versus this age, you know, you know, their age now. Um, it's just, it's, it's vastly different. I mean, even with, even back then, you know, 90s, late 90s, early two, you know, you know, late, late nineties, it was still very early in the internet phase as far as popularity went, you know, you had AOL and things like that, but news didn't travel as fast. No, ICQ you didn't. or whatever. Yeah. 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 ICQ. Yeah. ICQ. You know what I mean? Like the, the days of, of, you know, once MySpace hit and then it started, everybody started getting that instant connection gratification. That's when things started to really just snowball in my opinion. <laughs> you know oh, I, yeah. think, I think it's in our best interest to you know question things that we have been told and been held dearly to like one of uh i was watching earlier there's a a, a funny skit and this was a couple of years ago that they did it uh on the the daily show about how um the the make america great again so the reporters were asking people on the street that you know had to make america great again it's like 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 you know I'm with you, you know, when, when was America great, you know, <laughs> and like, none of them, had, none of them had a good answer. Like one person was like, Oh, well, the second that they signed the, you know, the, the constitution. And then the guy's like, well, yeah, you know, that was great, but we still had, you know, kind of the slavery thing going on and stuff like that. And they're like, <laughs> Oh well, yeah, you know, there was, there was that. Um, and one person's like, well, America's already great. And it's like, Oh, cool. So we're there. Like, no, we're not there yet. So like, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. But like, the thing is, it's like that became popular. There's a reason why they chose that is because they knew um, one of the one of the uh, one of the things that conservatives uh, cling to is uh, nostalgia. Yeah. You know, how things used to be, you know, conservatives are law, order, nostalgia. You know, so what does our president say? I'm the president of law and order. What's my platform? It's make America great again. It's like, like they, they took you for a ride. And I'm not saying like the Democrats do that, that same shit too. They know how people that vote democratically think. So well, they're going, their message is going to be spun in a way that 
you know, hey, that sounds good to me. I like that. Yeah. Same as the Republicans. The Republicans, we, we you know, we'll, we'll uh, spin it so that it's it fits to their narrative. But it, people, what people don't realize is, is there's three people up for election this year for presidency. Yeah. And yeah. I guarantee you 90% of the population doesn't even know. <laughs> Because there's no there's no real news on it. It's not it's not something that's fed, is fed to them unless they're a libertarian. If they're a libertarian, then they know about it. But you know it, it's it's that type of biased newscasting that goes on, yeah. and, and and you can't blame them. I mean, these are privately owned companies. These news stations aren't what they used to be. They're huge conglomerates, and they're they're privately owned. There's supposed to be a bigger gr- grasp on them to stop being able to spread, um, you know, to, to be able to have a grasp on how p- and basically funnel people's thoughts. But it's kind of failed because of loopholes and things like that that they can actually hold multiple stations across the United States. Um, so it, it's kind of it's kind of you know. Sh- gotten out of hand as far as that goes but there's no real it's you know it's you got your red station and your blue station is what i call them there's hardly any libertarians you're not going to find them on tv you're not going to find you know you're not going to find any of that stuff you're not going to find any i mean i went through the list of of different parties that we have there's more than two parties people there is a party for every type of person that you are um you just need to go in there and find it um they're they're just not popular they're just not the they're not the the uh they're not mainstream so to they're speak. not the big they're not the mainstream, big money it's mainstream politics well, they, they don't have they probably don't have i hate that. using that buzzword but it's true yeah. <laughs> they probably, i mean they don't have the 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 capital to, to mm-hmm. compete and that's the other thing too you know they yep. the, the other two parties have so much capital so many people donate to them so many corporate yep. uh you know it's it's great it's it's a you can't you can't you can't become president um, with a nine to five job. No. You can't. You just there's no there's no chance for you to become a president with a nine to five job. There's it's uh, it's financially impossible. Um, you'll get buried. You'll get buried in week one. Um, and it's it's sad that that's basically how our our system works. Our political system works now is it's. I mean, for crying out loud, a, a, a millionaire um, TV star, you know, or TV, uh, or maybe not a star, but a TV figure became president. You know what I mean? Like, how does that happen? No offense to Trump. You are not politically fit to be in an, uh, the, the, the press. That is no. the toughest job in the world, you know, and to... To have somebody in there who is who's sure he might have been good as far as like the business end goes, but there's so much more intricacies with worldwide economy than there is with just a couple of companies. Um, you need to. My feeling on it is you need to have uh, a business major. You need to have you know what I mean you need to have all these type of of, of accolade accolades to become president. I don't think it should be just anybody. I think it well, I should think- be you know, somebody who's qualified, somebody who knows about econ- the economy, knows how it works, knows the basics, knows or more than the basics, um, and, and, and knows about foreign policy and things like you need to have, if you're going to have one person in charge of everything, they need to be encompassed the abilities of many. They need to yeah. have all of the, the those properties in order to be able to do the job effectively. And especially because you only get for four years. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I... I'd like to add to that another another part to it is you need to have the capacity to be able to listen to smart people around you too. You know, all these people that are leaving his his uh, his his administration are saying the same thing. It's like we would tell him like you, you know this is wrong, you know, fundamentally, philosophically or security wise, you know, this is this is wrong. This goes against you know well, no, I'm just going to do it anyways. You know, yeah. like you can't, you can't have a leader that, that does it that. Shouldn't be. Like, even if you're, if you're, even if you're not a hundred percent qualified, yeah. you know, you can have some on the job training, so to speak. Um, which yeah, I'm sure, but I don't, you know, I don't want sure a C does. student doing my checkbook. You know what I mean? Like a, yeah, a, ma- yeah, a yeah, C yeah. student, math student doing my checkbook. 
I don't want him to have the final say of saying, okay, you, this may be the figure, but uh, I'm going to override you because I am the president. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. in my opinion, yeah. it shouldn't and be a C, uh, the easiest explanation. It shouldn't be a C student president. <laughs> Sorry. You shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. You know, you should be somebody who is more than competent to be able to make the snaps decisions, especially with, when it comes to world politics. Um, and to dealing with people, de-escalation techniques and, and, and back and forth and being able to be a negotiator and, and, none, and none of these people are, are, are nobody's qualified for that, honestly. There, this, that's an impossible standard. So why do we still have this presidential aspect? Why is it still run this way? It should be changed. It should be, like you said, it should be a bunch of people coming together because we are a huge group of people now. It's not, you know, the, the, the Eastern nations when we first started in 1776, you know, it, wasn't, it isn't like the Eastern side of the United States, you know what I mean? Like it's a huge group of people, you know, and it needs, it needs some type of new representation, you know, they can't even get it right at the UK and the UK is smaller than Texas for crying out loud. Come on. <laughs> You know, like <laughs> we're yeah. running, we're running a huge Titanic ship with with one dude at the wheel and one dude down in the in the in the engine compartment. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me. Definitely could use a spotter to look for an iceberg. You no, know, maybe somebody <laughs> so he could take a day off and relax and take a nap. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, definitely needs a spotter yeah. for icebergs. You know, like. Yeah. Oh man, and I'm not even a high school. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a high yeah. school. Then you should out. say, "I see this." Okay, what yeah. should we do? Not yeah, that's yeah. the thing is I don't like, know. Eh, just push through it. Smarter yeah, people yeah, should your, do come up with this stuff. To your point, Jamie, it's like if somebody <laughs> does tell you that, "Hey, there's an iceberg," you know, you should say, "Oh, I trust you. I'm going to steer it." Not exactly. Like, like hey, oh. you know, this will probably go away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or even better, here we go. Uh, oh, it'll probably melt by the time. But that person who yeah, yeah. the iceberg yeah. should have the power yeah. to go, I'm going to take control of the ship for a minute and stir it out, steer it out of the way and not have to wait for him to make the decision. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, Oh, oh man. man, I don't even... Again, that's a rabbit hole. Might be. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's, I'm trying not well, to, guys. But when it gets to politics, hey, you know what? You know I, we. You know what I will say. Mouth, you know what I will say is sometime we should have a uh, a politically driven cast. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> I'd have to sit down. Well, <laughs> no. Listen, listen. I don't. You were like ninety percent of most people don't even know about the three parties. Well, I'm one of those people. I don't know. I know there's. There, I know that there's Republican, Democrats. I know there's independents. I know there's several others. And I imagine there's a lot more. I don't oh, know nothing you, about bro. it. So I would be very interested in sitting down and actually doing a, uh, you know, a session sometime on that. But it would be with a warning that if anybody, you know, if they, if they, if they don't want to hear anything political, then don't tune in Steer that day. Clear that one. Yeah. I might be able to get somebody on that has a better grasp of how those systems work let me make phone calls and i'll i'll let you know about that because i would be a special guest that actually has i would be interested in actually learning about more more in depth about that stuff because i i i really don't know i'd be i'd be a liar i'd be a liar if i said i was you know i've been doing a lot more research on it lately because of the situations we're in but it's it's i might be able to get somebody who has like a really good grasp of how and what goes on with that kind of stuff. I don't know. Good. Or at least good. a better grasp than I do. Well, that's food for thought sometime. Agreed? Because, again, I don't I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> and maybe maybe it wouldn't be good. Maybe it would. Who knows? But that's content, man. You got to have that. Yeah. I'm in for conversation always. I, I, I was kind of laughing. I was chuckling. I wasn't chuckling about your guys' conversation. I pulled up the, uh, the middle-aged gaming because I, I saw that I got a – yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and your your post yesterday is brilliant, dude. When somebody says sorry for calling you a nerd, and you got and you got, <laughs> and you got and you really do apologize. It's okay. I was, okay. Not, dude, I was not offended. The best part is, like, I hear his voice when I'm when I'm. I know, right? Yeah. And I saw that post when I saw that meme. I was like, "Oh, I'm taking that. That's yeah. mine. That is like, mine." That it it's like, okay. Yeah, I'm not. Like, a, so I was not heard. offended. <laughs> that's okay. I was not offended. It's like it reminded me of the Tony the Tiger thing where he's like, "No, I'm just agreeing with you." 
<laughs> you know, that old commercial where he's eating the, the Frosted yep. Flakes, and they're like, look <laughs> at him, he thinks he's so cool, blah, blah, he's like, <laughs> or whatever, he's like, I, he's like, oh, I can hear you, I'm just agreeing with you. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, man. But yeah, uh, again, those are things that I don't know a too whole, too whole bunch about, so, yeah, um, you know, I can't give an educated guess, or, uh, you know, me voting, I, this year, I, my wife and I, we've discussed it, and I said, listen, I'm going to make the best judgment call that I can with the knowledge that I'm that that I have at the time. And she's like, yeah, just like the last. I was like, no, the last time I just pulled it. You know, I just with what seemed OK. I says, I want to be I want to know as much about it as I as I can. So I've been following a lot, a lot more politics lately. Not because I want to be like one of those guys that can have a conversation with this person, that person argue about this and that. Dude, I'm not. I'm not here for the debate. I'm not here yeah. for that. Yeah, I just. I'm here to hear people's opinions. I'm not here to change them. You know, um, I'm just here to. I'm just here to appreciate them for <laughs> for what they are. Yeah. You know, and not being 100 percent honest. Yep. Uh, you know, I enjoy hearing people's opinions. I, you know, be like, well, people's opinion don't matter. Well, they they don't, but they do. They do matter. Yeah. Because I want to hear them because it does matter to them. Just that just doesn't mean it matters to anything to me. Yeah. But if it matters to them, then I'd like to hear that about things. So uh, I've been listening to uh, or watching more news and stuff. Um, but again, I try to stay non-emotional about uh, that kind of stuff because I just <laughs> I, I don't have enough education about it to have an argument where I could stand here and be like, yeah, you know what? This is my opinion on it, and that's why. Now I don't have a good solid opinion right now. So. Yeah. Um, what I do have, though, is goals. Um, I have determination and drive, and I have some really awesome friends in my life. So, uh, and even more importantly, I have my, I have my family and my myself, and um, I have the ability to be able to to connect with my friends. So, Facebook, yeah, they're you know they they get a lot of clicks, but they make staying in touch with people super easy, which is yeah. also a, a blessing and a curse. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have, I am on Instagram. Uh, I, I, I do, I do more posts, I think on there and like reactions on there with things because that it's, it's a lot less people, uh, coming at you when you're like, Hey, good morning. Then everybody's like, Oh, are you having a bad day? You forgot to put a capital G or you had too many O's in it. Or, you know, you see those people that are out there that they'll be like, right. G U D enough you know good gud <laughs> and it's like you can't help but look at him be like wow that do you got to think of how many spell checks that that made it past right there for it to happen like how many predictions <laughs> you had to purposely go out of your way to put that like there. you didn't even take the suggestion from the spotter you literally just said you know what i'm just gonna go right through it god damn, god damn obama <laughs> he knows what i said <laughs> God damn Obama. <laughs> that predicted text gave you a suggestion. You should have probably taken it. But that but that's what makes it also great for, you know, yeah. everybody's entitled to them as well. Um but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh cut this one off here today. Um mm-hmm. Thank the you big, all for listening. The big dog here. The big dog is ready to go out, outside. My daughter wants some attention. Um and uh so does Justin. So uh, you guys saw I started another room. Uh, stay safe, stay positive, stay focused, and most of all, just don't be afraid to live your best life. What is that, Olivia? Peace. Deuces. Peace. Deuces. Deuces. That's right.